Did governing body member David Splane make a veiled threat to Norway? Let's get into it. In the April JW broadcasting, David Splain had some very strong words for governments that pass laws against them. Let's watch his about a minute and a half video to hear exactly what he has to say, and then we'll talk about it. Even in countries where there's a measure of religious freedom, fighters against God have tried to prevent us from carrying out our commission. You need a permit to go from house to house. You can't offer magazines on the street. You people are a dangerous sect. They've even enacted laws directed at stopping our work. Unless they change their ways, those lawmakers are going to be in big trouble. The word has gone out. As you go, preach. That great work will be accomplished with their support or in spite of them. Well, as we mentioned, fighters against God sometimes seem to get away with their acts of rebellion but they're on a slippery slope. I can't express it better than David did in Psalm uh, 37, 1 and 2. Do not be upset because of evil men or envious of wrongdoers. They will quickly wither like grass and shrivel like green new grass. So, when you hear about powerful opposers who seem to be untouchable, remember what we've discussed. These men may seem to prosper for a while, but since they're fighting against God, they're more to be pitied than to be feared. They're on the wrong side. They are fighting a losing battle. Powerful words from a guy sitting in his ivory tower, isn't it? Now let's go through what he said one piece at a time and dissect it and see how it's just ridiculous. Well, first of all, he says, even in countries where there's a measure of religious freedom, fighters against God have tried to prevent us from carrying out our commission. Notice that he says fighters against God have tried to prevent us. So he is equating us, the Watchtower, with God. I have said this on the channel many, many times. The Watchtower is God to Jehovah's Witnesses. Whenever the Watchtower says something about Jehovah or something about God, you can almost always replace the word Watchtower there, and it means the same thing. So that's what they're saying. Fighters against God, the Watchtower, have tried to prevent us, the Watchtower, from carrying out our commission. This is how Watchtower gets Jehovah's Witnesses to obey them without question because they equate themselves with God. Then they say, you need a permit to go from house to house. You can't offer magazines on the street. Here, Splain is referencing two court cases that Jehovah's Witnesses actually won. The Watchtower did win a court case saying that you don't have to get a permit to go house to house. I remember that was a huge deal when I was in. There was quite some time ago that that happened. But it was such a big deal. We thought, yeah, Jehovah was on our side. He helped us win this court case. They can't stop us from preaching. And the same thing about offering magazines on the street. They did win a court case saying that they can, in fact, do that. But in listing those two cases that they won, what Splain does not do is list off the monumental number of cases they've also lost, including the recent one in Norway, which in my opinion is exactly why he made this brief video to begin with, that I think he's targeting Norway in these words. And then he says, you people are a dangerous sect. No one calls Jehovah's Witnesses a dangerous sect. They call them a cult because that's what they are. But of course, Splain doesn't want to use the word cult, so he just says sect. But they've enacted laws directed at stopping our work. No, they haven't. In a few cases, yes, but for the most part, they're enacting laws to protect people, in the case of Norway, to protect children from being shunned by their parents and their other congregation members. It's the shunning of children that Norway has a problem with, not the proselytizing work of Jehovah's Witnesses. So here again, Splain is speaking in half-truths, which is very common for the governing body in the Watchtower of Jehovah's Witnesses. He's acting like the governments are going after something that they're not. 
the governments don't care about the preaching work as a rule. For the most part, in most Western and European countries, nobody cares if the witnesses stand at carts or knock on doors. It's not really a big deal. It was only a big deal in a few like highfalutin areas where they didn't want to be bothered. But constitutionally, they couldn't get away with that, which is why they won the court case of not having to have a permit. Then comes the veiled threat. Unless they change their ways, those lawmakers are going to be in big trouble. Well, first of all, Splain is sitting in his ivory tower making these statements where he's protected in the United States. It's like a little kid yelling taunts out the window at a group of bigger kids. He feels safe in his house, and so he can do that. But go outside and see if he's going to say the same thing to those guys. No, of course he's not, because he doesn't have the guts to do that, because he's a little kid. The Watchtower is very much like that. From their ivory tower, they will say all kinds of stuff on JW Broadcasting in video. But in front of the courts, they do not speak sternly. In fact, they lie, they speak half-truths, and they very often change their doctrines to concede with what the courts have said. Like I said, and when they lost to Norway because of shunning children, hmm, somehow magically they got new light from God and now change it so they don't shun minors. Minors don't go before judicial committees of elders. They are corrected by their parents and not the elders. Why do you think they changed that? Hmm, they just filed an appeal with Norway to try to get their funding back. So they talk a big, strong game in front of the witnesses on video, but when they're actually in court, they're not tough at all. They cave fast. So that's another problem I have with this video. And then he says, the word has gone out. As you go, preach. That great work will be accomplished with their support or in spite of them. And like I've said before, if you think you have Jehovah's full support, why do you need Norway's money? Why do you care if you're a registered religion there? Why does it matter? You, If you don't need their support because Jehovah's got your back, well, then just don't take their money. It's fine. You don't need them, right? But they do, because they don't have God's support. They're a business, and in order for a business to run, it needs money. So they want Norway's money. Well, as we mentioned, fighters against God sometimes seem to get away with their acts of rebellion, but they're on a slippery slope. What act of rebellion is Norway, for instance, trying to get away with? They're just trying to protect children from the horrific behavior of Jehovah's Witnesses. It's not a rebellion against God. You, you shunning children had nothing to do with God. So they're just trying to stop you from interfering with people's human rights. That's all they're doing. It has nothing to do with your God. And he says, I can't express it better than David did in Psalm 37, verse 1 and 2. Do not be upset because of evil men or envious of wrongdoers. They will quickly wither like grass and shrivel like new grass. And yet, in court, the ones who shrivel and wither when faced with prosecution, because prosecution is not persecution, not if you actually did what they're prosecuting you for, it's the watchtower and their representatives that often shrivel and backtrack in caves. So they really need to be quoting the scripture about themselves and not about the governments that are bringing them to court for their human rights violations. So when you hear about powerful opposers who seem to be untouchable, remember what we've discussed. These men may seem to prosper for a while, but since they're fighting against God, again, watchtower is God, they're more to be pitied than to be feared. They're on the wrong side. They are fighting a losing battle. The number one example that comes to mind about the witnesses caving whenever they're actually brought up in front of a court or some kind of committee in order to have to answer for what they do is Jeffrey Jackson. When Jeffrey Jackson spoke in front of the Australian Royal Commission, he said that it would be presumptuous for them to claim that they were God's only mouthpiece on earth when that is exactly what they teach Jehovah's Witnesses in their literature and in their videos. And yet, even though that's what they teach, when they had to come actually put their money where their mouth is in front of a committee, they deny it. 
Well, Splain is here talking big, strong words, but when he gets dragged before a court, I guarantee you, he would sound very different than he sounds in this video. He sounds all tough and strong, and God's got our back, and hmm. And he would cave. He would cave fast and hard if he was in front of a court, I have no doubt. Another example of that was the lying lawyer in Canada, who in front of the Canadian Supreme Court, he didn't say, oh yes, we absolutely shun family members because that is what we print in the watchtower. That is God's direction to us. We believe that's what the Bible teaches. No, he didn't say that. He lied. He said normal family relations continue except for spiritual relations. And that's just a lie. That's an absolute abject lie. So they have no backbone, but they talk a big game. And they want to sound all strong and bad and powerful like they got God's back, but they don't. And they're just a business. And they're a business who's losing money. They're a business who's been faced with a terrible reputation because of the harm and crimes that have been committed against children under their watch. And in fact, on the memorial video that you'll see, it, we're going to post it uh, Saturday evening, 7 o'clock Eastern. Watch for that. Look on my community page. You'll see there's a post about it and a link to it. Hit the notify button so you remember. When the elder was asked about that by Jimmy, the elder just kept pushing off all responsibility onto the parent. No, no, no. The parents have to report. The parents, the parents, the parents, the parents, the parents. And he even said that we should take what a child says with a grain of salt. And just horrible stuff like that. And that's why the Watchtower has such a bad reputation right now. That's why they're making videos like this now. Trying to sound big and bad and strong in front of the witnesses when they're just not. That is what I thought about this video. But I would love to know what you think. So be sure to post your comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And subscribe to my channel so you can receive more videos. And remember... The memorial video, huge. You're going to love it. It's about two hours long. It is wall-to-wall -wall good stuff you're not going to want to miss. You wanna, you'll find out what the memorial is really like, what elders really think, and how different and contradictory it is from the Watchtower and from each other. We definitely expose them in this video, so be sure to check it out Saturday, 7 o'clock Eastern. And as always, thanks for watching.